First, if you had the opportunity to swap roles with anybody in the Star Wars film franchise, who would you choose and why? I'd say Adam. Everybody. Everybody wants Kylo Ren. Well, he gets to do so much fun stuff. And I mean, obviously a lot of that is to do with his brilliant performing. But especially in this one, actually, he, he has like some real funny moments. He's obviously a mean guy. But there's so much, I think it really is his performance. There's so much um, uh, vulnerability and insecurity within that, that it's, it's, yeah, it's just fun. But I don't think anyone could do it like he does. One of my favorite qualities of Kylo yeah. Ren, those yeah. vulnerable, very yeah. human moments that he yeah. gets. So a sillier question, because everybody is super into Baby Yoda right yeah. now. So we're playing Baby Yoda's first. So think okay. babies first. Yeah. If you had the opportunity to witness Baby Yoda's first, fill in the blank, what would you pick and how would it go down? Here's what I'm going to say. I did the English version of a Studio Ghibli film called Only Yesterday. And in it, one of the little girls eats pineapple for the first time. And it's like... And like face blows off. So I would love to see Baby Yoda eat pineapple for the first time. I love that answer. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to ask you, obviously without spoiling anything, about the film's ending. Just in particular, how the ending of the final film that we're going to see on screen compares to what Colin shared with you years ago. Do you know what? I don't think Colin told me how it ended. Yeah. I think we went for dinner. And he talked about loose things about, like, characters and things, but I never knew what the ending was going to be. Uh, but weirdly, someone I worked with, I said, what would you really want to see, like, in the film? And they guessed. They didn't guess that that was the ending, but they were like, oh, this is what I'd love to see. I was like, that's part of it. And Whoever thought, that is, I am so impressed, because every yeah. theory I come up with is wrong. <laughs> oh, really? But you don't know that. You haven't seen it. Maybe one of your theories is right. Not in the last two movies, but oh, I'll keep my oh, fingers crossed on right, this one. Yeah. Um, if you had to name an unsung hero of Rise of Skywalker, who would it be? Because we know JJ, we know you guys, but is there, I don't know, a PA or someone at craft service that kind of made your day when you really needed my it? My unsung hero is Lee, who is my driver. Um, he provided me with a peanut butter and banana sandwich every day when we were doing the fight. He took me safely to and from work every day, listened to my spiel, makes me laugh and I love him a lot. Anything that answered that question with peanut butter in it was the right answer. Exactly. Um, so this trilogy is coming to a close. There's no doubt in my mind that Star Wars will be alive and thriving on the big screen for years to come, and eventually we might get a new lead ensemble. So mm. having gone through this process, what one piece of advice would you give a new actor stepping into this franchise? Well, John made the good point yesterday that we'd be feeling jealous of those people. So I'd be like, Really enjoy it, because you're really lucky to be there, to be surrounded by great people. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's really hard, because like, I had a drink with Kelly when she was cast. I had a drink with Naomi. But it's so unique, the ex everyone's singular experience, that you can say, have fun, enjoy it. Don't put too, put too much pressure on yourself. And there are things that individuals experience that I don't think there's any one thing, but probably just try and... Enjoy, enjoy it all.